Right, lesson 11, area between two functions, number 3. The curve y equals 2x minus x squared, this one here, and y equals 1 minus x squared intersected a. We have to find the coordinates of a. So we have to solve these two simultaneously. So we'll have 2x minus x squared is equal to 1 minus x squared. So the simple one to solve, the x squared is going out. We get 2x equals 1, x is equal to a half. And taking the value of a half, putting it back in this one, we said y equals 1 minus a half square, which is a quarter. So it's going to be 3 quarters. So the quarters of A are 1 half and 3 quarters. So we got that there, okay? Now we have to find the shaded area indicated on the diagram, this colored area here. To do that, we'll first of all need to find these points here. This looks like the origin, but we'll just see the fact it is when we, when we solve this with the x-axis. So we'll take this one first to show that it's zero. So we take this one and we see that um, y equals 2x minus x squared. Take out the x and we get 2 minus x. So x equals zero and x equals two. Okay, so we get x equals zero, that one there. And of course this one's two, we, we don't really need this one though. Now we take the other one, we take y equals 1 minus x squared. Factorizing that we get 1 minus x, 1 plus x, that equals 0. So x equals 1 or x equals negative 1. So that was equal to negative 1 here, which you don't really need, and this one here. So we have our limits. Right, now to find the area, what we need once we've got our limits is to we need to break this up. Now what I'll do here, I'll just draw a little line down there. Oops. Okay. And remember this is a half. Now so we work I'm gonna work at that area first and that and then that one and add the two together. So work at the area underneath this curve. Right, between zero and a half. So we'll say area one equals the integral between a half and zero. Underneath, just be careful here, underneath this curve here, okay, which is this one. So that's two x minus x squared dx. And we'll work out the other one, the second area will be between the lower limit a half and the upper one one underneath this curve here which is the one minus x squared. Just be sure you don't muddle up the curves because you'll get it wrong otherwise. Okay, now we're set to go. Now integrating this one we get it becomes uh, x squared on two which becomes just x squared minus x cubed over 3 between 1 half and 0. Putting that in, that's going to give me 1 quarter minus, it becomes 1 24th minus nothing. And of course that's going to give me 5 24ths. The other one, integrating this one, we're going to get x minus x cubed over 3. Just be very careful with these little fraction things. That's 1 minus a third minus, now we'll have a half minus 24th. And that becomes over here two thirds minus 
11 24 and that becomes 5 24 exactly the same area we sort of see that because we can see that certain symmetry about it okay so the total area is these two added together which is 10 24 which simplifies down to 5 twelfths units squared.